Welcome to Iowa City, folks. Caitlin Clark has a chance to pass Pistol Pete Maravich and becomes the all-time leading scorer in major college basketball history. She needs 18 points. She averages 30 on the season. On top of that, earlier this week, she announced that she will be foregoing her final year of eligibility here at y Iowa to enter the WNBA draft. And on top of that, Ohio State just clinched the regular season Big Ten championship on Wednesday, beating Michigan at home. Buckeyes control it, and here we go. J.C. Sheldon is a point guard. And what should we pay attention to early on in this game? Does Iowa do anything different against Cody McMahon? Do they toss some junk defenses? And for Ohio State, when they score, will they still bring that vaunted 2 2 one full court pressure? 16-foot jumper off the mark. Clark with the rebound, outlet pass. Gabby Marshall in the front court, goes inside. No call on the play. Stolke can't finish. He had a 47-point game against Penn State this season. So Ohio State coming off a 67-51 win over Michigan on Wednesday. Sheldon with the bucket, and the Buckeyes are on the board. Clark needs 18. Kick, baseline, rising fire. Mark, Gabby. That's always the question mark. Caitlin Clark will make plays for her teammates. Can they knock them down? Gabby Marshall. A senior herself here celebrating. She's an important aspect to this offense. Scored her 1,000th point against Minnesota on Wednesday in their last game. Inside, Fury bottled up. Shelton, quick release, and knocks it down. J.C. Sheldon. And this is a 2-2-1 pressure you're seeing. Ohio State creates a lot of havoc off of it. I will broke it early, so the Buckeyes took it off back home. Clark, first shot of the game off the heel. McMahon the other way, had that 33-point outing in their last meeting. Gets to the basket, too strong. Molly D with the rebound. She saw bodies. They're going to throw traffic at her around the paint. Now Clark down the lane. Nice deal to Stunky up and down. That's the thing that makes you so special. Yes, she can shoot it, but she's got an incredible handle and court vision like you've never seen. Fifth all-time in assists. Second assist of the game. And we're level at five. Baseline, Fury, down the lane, across the lane, got it up, and a foul. Second free throw off the mark. Four remains at five. Stokey, front court, she's a rim runner. Nice, zero step, and she gets to the bucket for the easy. That's where the Hawkeyes become deadly in transition. The ability for Clark to advance it, and Stokey is a rim runner. Caitlin Clark, you have to score. She needs 18 to break Pistol Pete's record. Iowa forces a turnover. Martin the other way. Here comes Molly D to the hole and draws a foul. Sydney Falter comes in and replaces Molly Davis. Here's Clark looking for her first basket. Drives to the bucket, gets to the hole off the glass. No, that one may have been partially blocked. Outlet pass. Here's J.C. Sheldon in transition. Iowa getting back. Gabby Marshall guarding. Sheldon with all five points for the Buckeyes, but Ohio State turns it over. Outlet pass, Stonky rim running again. Tied up by Sheldon with the quick hands on the floor. 15,000 plus in attendance for this one. Nikolashikova off the mark. Clark D still looking for a first basket. She's 0 for 3 to start this game, and Ohio State the other way. Celeste Taylor, Texas, and Duke transfer. Incredible defender. Pull up jumper, 18 footer, count it. And Celeste Taylor has continued to get acclimated here in her fifth year, spent her first two at Texas, then the last two at Duke, and she's been an important factor this last month for Ohio State. Clark, quick release. And it's. Franklin Clark is on the board. She needs 15 to break the all-time leading major college basketball scoring record held by Pistol Pete Maravich. Established 54 years ago. That one knocked away by Clark. She picked it up. 
Out of the hands of McMahon. Listen to this crowd. Clark down the lane. Nice look. Stokey. And a steal by Theory. Sheldon in and out jumping to the hole. Double pump off the glass. No. Up and down they're playing. Marshall rising fire. Bam! Gabby Marshall. Back door showed the nice catch. Get to the hole. Missed the bunny. Caitlin Clark on the bench right now. Kate Martin. Her best friend leading the way. Molly D back in with the rock right now. The false baseline, left hand short. Gets her own rebound, blocked and foul. Jake from State Farm on the left, and UConn and WNBA legend Maya Moore are here. Maya was Caitlin's idol growing up. Ricky Harris. Fifteen ten. Clark inside. Easy. And that goes down. This time, Addison O'Grady. Four assists for Caitlin Clark. And Ohio State again in that 2 2 1 full court pressure. We'll see how long they stay in it if it's not effective. Deary off balance going to the basket. Trying to get her own rebound, out of bounds, and we'll head the other way. At 45, the last time these two teams faced each other in late January. Game with the overtime. Stokey pivots to the cup, count it, and the foul. Madison Green. And that one blocked as Harris couldn't get to the basket. Rim runner, Stokey again. Green, handoff, McMahon. That's a growing part of Cody McMahon's game, but a shot that you're willing to concede. Back to door, out. loose, out of bounds, and we'll stay right here. Sheldon, cut off on the baseline, steps out of bounds. Ohio State shooting 31% to start this game. Sheldon off the bounce. Short. Clark the other way. He's got three points from the logo. Brick. Rebounded by Isle. Pull up jumper. That one off the mark for Fuhrbach. Another rebound by Isle. Back door. Clark don't look past. Caitlin one for five from the field to start, but she can score points in bunches, as we know. Stolke at the line. Stolke, 10 points on four or five shooting, 25 to 10. Green, pure. Madison Green, scoreless on Wednesday against Michigan in 11 minutes. 25-13, her first bucket. Here's Clark, guarded by Green. Trying to create. Bouncing, strip, out of bounds. Caitlin Clark with three points. She needs 15 more to pass this to beat Maravich. Mid-range jump shot goes down for Cody McMahon. McMahon with 18 on Wednesday against Michigan on 7 of 12 shooting. Clark, quick release jumper. She's 12 away to break the record. Sheldon, and a whistling foul coming up.
Here's Clark the other way to the basket. Uses his body off the mark. McMahon, rebound, nice bounce pass. Young in transition. Glides to the basket for the easy. Ten to shoot. Here comes Stulky to screen. Gives it up. Stulky deep in the corner. Marshall off the box. Short. And that's the end of the first. So many ties between Coach McGuff and this Iowa program. Here's Clark inside, strip, lost it, Fury in transition, straight to the basket, and she gets the layup to fall. It's a whole town roll there for Fury here. And they cut it to seven, 11-3 run for the world famous Buckeyes. And a whistle. Right now, it's Caitlin Clark with another jumper. She's nine points away. Thirty-one twenty-one. Taylor across the lane, picked up her dribble in no man's lane. McMahon. Clark starting to feel it. Cross court in front. Stuck it and a travel. Basket will not come. 12 to shoot. Green, 16. And the roll. The shots missed by Ohio State has gone hand in hand in Iowa's transition. Sheldon comes up with the steal, keeps it in bounds. What hustle. 31 23. Taylor off the bounce, in and out. Davis crosses over, stripped on the way up. Active hands by Ohio State. Seven turnovers for Iowa. 31-23. Buckeyes refusing to go away. Down the lane, Sheldon, the kick, baseline, theory. Got it. Those shots will be there. Iowa in a zone, and Ohio State starting to do what they do best, generating offense out of their defense. Clark again for downtown. She's six points away, folks, from American history. Theory. Taylor to the bucket with a step off the mark. Clark, she'll pull in transition. Molly Davis now. Here's Caitlin on the handoff to the hole off the glass. And it! Caitlin Clark, two points away. Make that four points away. And more than anything, you just feel for Molly Davis right now. Molly Davis has to be helped off the court. Let's hope that this is just a precaution. So Davis out of the lineup. Caitlin Clark has scored the last 11 for the Hawkeyes. She needs four points to pass. Pistol Pete Maravich's all-time record, a three. Short. Theory with the board. So Iowa often go a little bit bigger here with their substitution. Madison Green, J.C. Sheldon moving to the two position. Sheldon a three. Pure. This kid is a first round pick, J.C. Sheldon, in the WNBA draft. Got 12 20 point games this season. Score. Has 12 points right now. And she can score at all three levels. Inside Kate Martin from Clark. Off balance. Can't finish. Seven point lead. 
Iowa's led by as many as 15. Shelled it again. Thinking about it. Ten to shoot. Celeste Taylor. Straight away, Jay. And hits. Ohio State right back in this game. Time out, Iowa. Kayla Clark, though, four points away from Blakey. Bristol Pete's all-time leading NCAA scoring mark. Here she is off the dribble now. Almost lost it. Reverse. No. Clark, 5 to 12. 36 32. McMahon, 3. Rebound, Caitlin Clark. In transition, Clark. Got a quick trigger. Draws a double. A falter. Skip pass. Martin three, air ball. Celeste Taylor the other way. Deflected out of bounds, and it'll be Ohio State ball. Taylor three off the inbounds play ball, scatters around. Picked up by Clark. Here's Clayton. Nice look inside, and an easy layup. This time, it's a falter. Example of the gravity, all eyes in transition on Clark. That's an excellent run by a falter. Six assists for Caitlin Clark. Averages eight on the season. Sheldon with four minutes to play. And a steal. Martin just plucks it out of the air. Clark. Looking. And a reach-in foul coming up against Clark. And a whistle and foul. Baseline turn and good. Celeste Taylor playing really well. Makes it a 38-34 game. Clark. Back door. Martin misses the layup. Stokey there for the putback. Martin's missed a couple bunnies. That's a great follow-up there by Stokey. Taylor McCabe has come in for Iowa. Where's number two? 40 to 34. Stokey with 12. Iowa staying in the zone. In zone. Clark needs four points. Pulls up. Off the heel. Loose ball. A falter. And it's good. Shout in the other way. No call. Clark. Needs three to tie Pistol Pete. Four to break the record. And a whistle offensive foul on Stokey. Green. Long rebound shell to do shot clock Buckeyes. 153 to go. Harris beats McMahon. Nice turn over Stokey. That's where they need to get it into the into post, especially if she's got single coverage. Inbounder, Caitlin Clark, four points away, throws it inside. McMahon with the hand on it, out of bounds. Harris. Sheldon. Clark. Hesitation. Drives. Stops. 
Stunky with position and a whistling foul coming up. Looks like that'll be on J.C. Sheldon, her second. Needing four points to pass Pistol Pete. Three to tie. Clark inside. Got it. She's two points away. With under a minute to play in the first half, 44 to 36. A record that has stood for 54 years. Green, short, Clark, rebound. So here we go. Clark takes her time. Walks it over the midcourt line, 30 seconds to go. Two points away from breaking Pistol Pete's all-time mark. They back it up. They rise to their feet here in Iowa for immortality. Out the front rim, no. Sheldon. Baseline. And good, Ricky Harris. Clark, outlet pass, Stokey, another rim run to the hole, and they just found it up with three tenths of a second to go. And right now, Cody McMahon is upset. She is talking to the officials. Cody, she picks up a tech. So we'll have the shooting foul first. The technical will be after that, and then Iowa will get the ball. Now Caitlin at the line. She ties it with that one. This for college basketball history. She does it with a foul shot. Caitlin Clark becomes the all-time leading scorer in major college basketball history. Passing Pistol Pete Maravich. A record that's lasted for 54 years. And that's the end of the first half. So we start the second half. Buckeyes with the basketball. What kind of adjustments do they need to make as we start the second half? Get it into the paint, and they're going to have to identify what defenses I was in early. And somehow that one will go down for Taylor Theory to make it a 48-41 game. They also need to add more pressure here on the offensive side, in particular with Molly Davis, the point guard, out. Here's Clark. Skulky slipping to the basket and throws it away to Theory. Sheldon galloping into the front court. Hesitation gets to the hole off the glass strong. Stokey with the rebound. Marshall, Clark, Martin, a falter, and Stokey on the court for Iowa. Here's a handoff. Clark backs up on Theory. Step back, Jay. Way short. McMahon, double pump on the baseline, got him to fall. And speaking of players, Iowa did a nice job on Cody McMahon, just two of seven in that first half. Can they get her going by pounding it in the paint? Iowa is led by as many as 15. Hawkeyes led by double digits in the first meeting in January in Columbus. Buckeyes reeled them in and won it in overtime. Nikolashikova picking up her second. Another foul coming up. Clark the inbound. A falter. Drives baseline. Oh, nice push out. But she's called for the foul. Couldn't get away with it. Shelby. Mikolashikova inside. McMahon. And another foul. Sixty-three percent free throw shooter, Stokey, nice catch. Baseline jumper, Marshall. Iowa going a little cold now. 
Taylor saves it from going out of bounds. 7.43 to play in the third. And that one goes down for Mika Lashikova. Over 38% from the three-point line. That's at 6'4", and be able to stretch the floor, a huge asset of hers. Lead is down to two after being a 15-point lead. Stokey. They swing it. Clark, step back straight away. Pure. She's got 21. When her shots go down, it ignites the crowd in a way I have never seen. She's 5 for 12 from the three-point line. She's the all-time leading scorer, men or women, in the history of major college basketball. Anna Steele. Fuhrbach throws it away. Taylor getting back on defense. And a foul against Taylor. Offense. They turn it over. McMahon racing. Bounce pass. And that's a steal by a faulty. Make that Fuhrbach. Now Marshall wide open. Gabby. Marshall. Down out of Ohio State. Ohio State wants this game badly, even though they're the regular season champ. Pull up jumper deep. And that one goes down for Miko Lashikova. And, and you said it, Gus. This Ohio State team was down by 12 at home in the fourth quarter against Iowa to still come back and win in overtime. They won 15 straight. They're not trying to come out of here with a loss. Meanwhile, Clark gets to the basket, uses her side. She's bigger than you think. She's bigger than you think. She's stronger and quicker than you may expect. Fuhrbach with the steal to the bucket. And just like that, Iowa goes up 58-49. And just like that, Kayla Clark is getting this crowd going. As you watched Caitlin start to chip away at your record and break it, what were your thoughts? As she was chipping away, I said, records are made to be broken, but also they're made to be honored. And because of her, my records are being honored, and I'm so happy for her. Lynette Woodard, truly one of the all-time greats in the history of women's basketball. And this young lady as well gets to the hole, misses the layup, loose ball picked up, outlet pass. Here's Sheldon. Big step to the hole and lays it in. And Woodard talked about to be honored. Kelsey Plum, I'll never forget when she needed 54 to break that record and had 57 points. I still have chills thinking about that moment. 58-53. McKay in now for Molly Davis. Davis going out the first half with an ankle injury. Marshall frees herself. And this one out of bounds. It's, it looks like it'll be Iowa basketball. A technical foul has been called on Ricky Harris.
rejects the basket and lays it in. I love that we have so much attention, names, and talent to be talking about with women's basketball. 63-53. Harris lost it and fouled. Gonna be a WNBA player. Banks that one down, makes it a 65-54 game. Iowa looking for their 26th win of the year. And a block. Furbach got a hand on Sheldon. Now Gabby Marshall hustles it down. Out of bounds. It will head the other way. No foul. And Iowa, this crowd feels that they are trying to extend this lead here going into the fourth. Martin, four points, eight rebounds, and Ohio State coughs it up again. Clark kicks it deep in the corner. Got it. Gabby Marshall in the gym range for this game. He's knocking them out from everywhere on the court. Sixty-eight, fifty-four. more of a traditional half-court game between these two powers in the Big Ten Conference and in college basketball. Brock's coughed it up again. Here comes Caitlin. Martin steps into a J. Thirteen-one run for the Hawkeye. Seventy-one, fifty-four. Danger zone for Ohio State. McMahon, and she'll get the kind roll. Caitlin, off balance and foul. Seventy-three fifty-six. Danger zone for Ohio State. Taylor's three-pointer. Got it. This Ohio State team, 15 straight wins. They have not lost since the end of December. 15 straight. Martin turnaround jumper in the paint. Theory. Taylor. Sheldon. Fifteen footer, and that goes down for Nikola Shikova from Slovakia. She has eight points on three of five shooting. Stretch five is what they call it. Now Caitlin taking her time. Taylor said she got good sleep last night. Taylor ate a good breakfast. She's got energy. She needs it. Taking on this young lady, Caitlin Clark, off the dribble to the hole. Taylor Clark just told Celeste Taylor, I'll give you your breakfast. <laughs> Maybe some lunch and dinner. You gotta get some cereal as well. Top of the arc, Sheldon. High arc the pure. JC Sheldon. And that's the end of the third. by Ohio State, new shot clock. And a whistle. 14 turnovers for the Hawkeyes in this game. In the front court, they find a Falcon. Nice bounce pass, Stolke. Can't shield off the defender and convert. Or the press paying off on that trip for Ohio State. In and out, Miko Lashikova. Now Clark on the crossover to the hole, blocked from behind in the foul. Let's go to Allison Williams. 
Well, guys, for Iowa, a tough scene. Molly Davis has returned out here by the court, but she is in a wheelchair. Her leg heavily taped her right knee there. You can see she's definitely had some tears. It's a, a tough scene for sure for all the Hawkeyes fans. She did muster a smile for me and a thumbs up and said, I'm good. I'll be all right. The toughness of Molly Davis is present not only on the floor, but off it. She's been a leader. It's her second year at Iowa, as you already had mentioned. The all-time scoring leader for Central Michigan in her first three years there. An integral part to who this team has been this season. Since Molly D left the game, Iowa's outscored Ohio State 41 to 38. 76-64. Iowa's led by as many as 17. Miko Lashikova continues to knock down shots. She's hit three threes on six attempts to keep Ohio State close. Stokey. Now Martin held bent to get to the hole. And done. Nine points for Martin. 8.23 to go on the floor. Inside. McMahon. Clark with a rebound. That one deflected. Picked up. Assaulted. Nice bounce pass. Stoke. And the foul. Eighty to sixty-seven. Approaching the eight-minute mark of the fourth from Iowa City. Caitlin Clark has passed Pistol Pete Merriman to become the all-time leading scorer in major college basketball history. Mr. Pete. He became the leader after passing the legendary Oscar Robertson. Taylor blocked by Clark, picked up McMahon in the corner, Feely. And a shot clock violation is the call. Scramble, tied up. Sheldon, Clark. Clark with 30 points, eight assists, and six rebounds. Close to triple-double. Stokey. Stokey again. They swing it. Martin. Stokey, offensive rebound. Power dribble off the window. And in. Ohio State in that zone made them vulnerable to the offensive glass. A good position by Stolke. And a Stolke, 19 points, 8 rebounds. 82-67. Theory, double pump. You know, Taylor Theory has been aggressive. She's hit some big shots, even one that was after the shot clock that didn't go through. Clark. Yeah, we'll stay here. Purebach lost the handle. And a whistle. I'll say this though for those who have not seen a lot of Cody McMahon throughout the course of the season know her name she's only a sophomore and she's got a ton of talent and a excellent disposition for great things in this game and the ball will stay with Iowa Clark Now Clark rolls down the lane, great position. Passes that one up. Ten on the shot clock. Pick and roll. Cross court. Baseline. Fuhrbach sails wide. 
McMahon, nice bounce pass. Deary. Off the mark, Nikola Shakova. There is still time for Ohio State, but it is getting tight, Gus. Those are the type of shots they need to start hitting. Timely buckets the Buckeyes are after right now. Crossover, Clark to the hole. Bounce. Stolke slips to the hole and uses his size and strength and banks it in. And a little bit of finesse, quickness. He's got a lot of tools in that box. He's got 21. 84-69. Deep jumper. Goes down for Mikola Shakova. And Rebecca, solid game, 14 points. She averages nine a game on the season. A falter. Stokey, offensive rebound. And a trap. Theory. Woo, beautiful finger roll. Missed it, got it back. And can't convert. And she did all the hard work. With George Gervin right there. 84-72. Clark. Stokey, nice catch. Can't square shoulders. Ricky Harris the other way. J.C. Sheldon. Harris three, in and out. Now, with four minutes to go, Iowa can take their time. Up 84 to 72. In no rush, the Hawkeyes. We don't hear that often. Clark, straight away three. Up and down they go, folks. Harris almost traveled. She gets away with it. Sheldon down the lane on the split with the lay-in. Beautifully done by J.C. Sheldon. And that's where she's so good with her ability to find those gaps, slash, get to the basket. Ten-point game. They still got some life. She's got a team-high 19. Both teams tired. Spent. Clark. He's not that tired. That wrist isn't tired. Bailey Clark, the all-time leading scorer in major college basketball history. Queen Caitlin. They're 255 away. Taylor Theory. Cross court. Nice catch. Harris and the layup. He goes up high to snag that one out of the air. What a fine by Theory. Harris with nine. Clark back door, nice look, Martin. Easy layup. Caitlin Clark putting it on a down. Nine assists to Clark. 89-76. And a turnover. Stokey. Ohio State unraveling now. With 2.16 to go. 91-76. McMahon. Under two to go. Hawkeyes will improve to 15 and three in the conference and clinch the number two seed in the upcoming Big Ten tournament if they hold on. Marshall. Now Cody McMahon. Harris. 133 to play. And a whistle away from the ball. Looks like Clark and McMahon got tied up. Clark's second foul. Sheldon. Pick and roll. Poked away. Carl gets it from the logo.
91-81. Sheldon. JC gets inside 10. Time up. Gabby Marshall. Sheldon. And that should do it as Caitlin Clark brings it into the front court. Clark, all time leading scorer in major college basketball. Passing Pistol Pete Maravich. But more importantly for Iowa, the Hawkeyes avenge their earlier season loss. To Ohio State winning at 93 83 Clark 35 points nine assists six rebounds three steals and one all-time scoring record in her back pocket you have now scored more points than anyone who has ever played division one <laughs> men's or women's basketball as much as you say that record isn't what you're thinking about yeah. when you hear it like that is that gonna hit you at some point Oh, for sure. Like, it's, it's really, like, crazy to think about. Like, honestly, if you would have told me that before my college career started, I would have laughed in your face and been like, no, you're insane. And, like, I've always been able to score the ball, but I don't think people really understand how many amazing players have come before me and, like, been able to score the ball um, and do it at such a high rate and do it for teams that are really, really good. And uh, just to be in the same realm of all these players that have been so successful, whether, whether it's Pete or whether it's Kelsey Plum or Lynette Woodard, like, all these people have just given so much to the game. So, um, you know, hopefully somebody comes after me and breaks my records and I can be there supporting them. And um, that's what makes the game of basketball so fun. But, yeah, it'll definitely hit me at some point.